What's going on, everybody? It's Nico, and this is Nox, goddess of the night. And she's really cool. <laughs> I said it like that because I think she's really cool. She looks really fucking cool. Like, her dress and everything, and her character model, and her effects are badass. But I don't know how I feel about her and if she's going to be, like, good or not. Because her early game's really weak. Also, just in case you wanted to see her back animation. Um, but yeah, I like her, but I don't know about her. But let's go over her abilities before I start talking about that. Flame of the Night. Nox's candles gather energy from all abilities used near her. For every ability cast near Nox, excluding her own, a new candle is lit. Once all four are lit, Nox's next ability cast costs no mana. So, basically, people use abilities near you but whether they be friend or foe and that means you can cast abilities freely after four of them kind of like chalk's passive where he hits something five times and then his next ability cast is free um nox is one shadow barrier nox creates a barrier of night around herself for one second that mitigates damage from the next hostile ability that hits her Basic attacks are also mitigated for the entire duration that the shield is up. Nox cleanses roots and slows while this ability is active. So, you press 1, you mitigate damage. At level 1, it's 50%. So, not a bad ability to level up one time and just keep it at level 1 for a while. Um, so, let's get one, like one point into it. Do that again. Um, but yeah, as you can see, her 3 has an extremely short cooldown. And we're not going to kill him because my 2 wasn't off cooldown yet. Sad face. Anyway, Nox is two. Nightfall Raven. Nox launches a raven that spreads night along its path. Every enemy it touches takes damage, is silenced, and is shrouded in darkness. The Shroud of Darkness lasts for five seconds. Silence is only one second, and the damage only goes up by ten points per level. And you may be thinking, wow, that's kind of pitiful. Kind of, but the reason her abilities don't gain that much natural power is because her three, which is on a three-second cooldown called Siphon Darkness... Nox targets the ground and attempts to consume all darkness in that area. Enemies who are standing in the target area take damage. If a target is shrouded in darkness, then it takes double the amount of damage. This is why I'm leveling the three. Not only is it on a very short cooldown, but you do double damage when you do that and then that. Which means you can clear pretty well. The only problem is, kind of like how Kronos has a kind of hard time to clear the wave without stacking the minions up, you gotta kind of stack them up before... The two and the three all hit. Ouch. Um, also, I don't think her one works on tower shots. I've used it, and I just don't think it does anything. It might, but I don't think it does. Um, so do that. Like, you have to get like gather the wave up pretty well before you can actually hit the entire thing. So, that kind of sucks. And as you can see, I'm been using my two and three a bunch and just from last hitting the wave vampiric shroud is keeping me at almost full mana and now i have a chronos pendant and i'm never going to run out of mana unless i continuously spam everything um so far i've built her with cdr and it seems to work really well with the fact that her two and her three interact together um the, the darkness that you apply to enemies lasts for five seconds so if you get CDR, you can use the three twice before the darkness is off of someone, hitting them with double damage twice. So that's what I found works really well. So rushing a CDR is a really good idea on her, in my opinion. I don't know if it's actually the best thing you can do. So far, it works. I found it works really well. Um, I could be completely wrong, though. He moved at me. What the hell? Um, because I'm not the end all be all. Some people might think that. Trust me, I'm not. 133. Alright. I don't want to level up before I do that again. I don't know if my one actually went off there. I did it, but it didn't look like it went off. That was weird. Um, let's do that. Now again, motherfucker. Um, weird. Um, what was I saying? Shit. One didn't look like it went off. But yeah, her early game, kind of rough, to be honest. Even against just Robot, her clear 
you you rely on the fact that her three does not use a lot of mana and is on a very short cooldown. Like, that's just what you got to do. Also, I've been doing full CDR. I don't know if I need full CDR, though. I haven't done pen boots yet. I've done CDR boots because that brings this down to 1.8 seconds and this down to... Uh, I don't remember now that I'm trying to think about it. Eight or something seconds? Hmm. And this comes down to 12, and this is 64. I mean, 59. So, you could ult more. Let's, let's, I'm going to do CDR boots one more time, just to see if I like it still. I like full CDR knocks, because you get to make use of the shadow, like the darkness on enemies with the three. Yeah, 1.8, 7.8, 12, and 54. Yeah. Once you get full CDR, her ability like times are a lot lot lower which is good because with her low damage in the beginning of the game it helps her just constantly poke which is kind of how i feel like she should be played just like um changa where you get full cdr and then you just hit somebody and then they think oh whatever and then you hit them again and they're like oh okay this is kind of annoying and then you hit them again and they're just like, oh, so this is how this is going to work. And you just constantly poke them. And you never let up. So, it's what I feel like she plays similarly to. Only difference is Chonga has wide AoEs and Nox has a single, well not single, a line skill shot and a decently sized AoE ability to be, like to be fair. It's not small in any regard. But, it's slightly tougher to hit than you know, any of Chunga's abilities, which are all right on top of her. Damn it, that's so fucking tough to get. Like, you get, you have to be pretty good at predicting an enemy's movement path if you want to hit the three. Because it's a... I don't... F not sure if it's a full second. Um before it casts but every time i've checked it it seems to have been a full second so it, it, it's about a second it's like 0.8 seconds maybe it there's a pretty decent ramp up time before that thing will pop um that was my phone it's probably gonna go off again you probably just heard it through both yay facebook <laughs> i'm talking to my friend while she's at work um what was I saying? Yeah, the ramp up time on the three, you have to be pretty decent at predicting someone's movement if you actually want to hit it. Because if you're not, then you're going to miss it every time. So, ugh, I really hate the fact when he does that. Um, also, the reason I'm not leveling the ultimate is because... God, he's still so fucking fast! I'm not gonna kill it. Oh! Well, you know, I did. Um... I thought it for sure I wasn't gonna kill him there. But, um, what was I saying? Shit. Oh, the reason I haven't been leveling the ultimate is because it only goes up by 10 damage, just like all of her other abilities. And it requires them to do abilities to get more damage on it. Which, at first, when Nox comes out, people are going to not understand how she plays. And are just probably going to burst her down. So, it might be a good idea to level the ult. Like, whenever you get a chance. That way, people kill themselves. Um, but... I think after people learn how to do, like, oh, Nox is linked to me. Don't do any abilities or I'm going to end up dying is what I think is going to happen. So, eh, I don't know. Right now, I'm not leveling the ult. I might when I actually get to play her on the real servers, but I'm not sure for, sh like, right now. Also, the way her one works, I feel like Warlock Sash would be really good pickup on her because her one provides really good damage mitigation from 50% to 90% as you level it up. So the only thing you're really lacking is health. 
it it makes sense in my head. I don't know if it's actually the right thing to build, but it it just it makes sense. Like logically, it's like oh, I can mitigate a bunch of damage for one second, and if I have a small health pool, it'll hurt a lot more. If I have a big health pool and I have a lot of mitigation, it helps a lot. So I feel like Warlock Sash would be good on her. I could be wrong. Um, Warlock Sash is not an easy item to stack up, and so, and with her, I don't know how good her last hitting potential will actually be in Conquest, though as you can see right here, I'm kind of just destroying Robot with, you know, doing the whole constant harass with the three thing, um, but, I don't know. She just, she's going to require a lot of play before I, I, like, fully understand her potential. Because it, it, like, I feel like I can do okay with her right now. Even just, like, and I'm talking about okay against the robot. If I go up against, like, an actual hubba, like, someone who actually spams abilities a lot, I feel like I'd get destroyed. But, I don't know. She feels weird in the fact that I just, she's, it's not readily apparent how to play her. As whereas, like, Nuwa, it's like, oh, you build lots of damage and you burst people really quickly, just like any other, like, super burst, like, glass cannon style mage. Like, Agni or something. He didn't even walk forward. He was just like, nah, I'm good. Um. Um. One thing I want to test is whether or not, while you're linked to someone, Gem of Isolation keeps on, like, applying to them. So instead of Warlock Sash, I'm going to go Gem of Iso. Because it gives, I mean, 250 health, 250 mana, 70 magical power. Not, nothing to scoff at. And like, being able to constantly do this and slow someone for 25% every 2 seconds. And this comes off cooldown every 1.8 second. So just constant slowing. Not a bad thing. Also, I want to test to see whether or not having Night Terror linked to someone slows them the entire time they're linked. Because if that's the case, the Gem of Isolation is OP as hell on her, and you should always build it on her, just like you always build Gem of Iso on Poseidon. If it's not super OP on her, then we'll find out. Um, I probably won't be able to actually tell against um, Robot. I'll probably have to do something like have a friend um, play against me to tell me whether or not and check their buffs. Uh, no, it didn't look like he was being slowed, but like I said, it would probably be, to have concrete evidence of whether or not it does, I'm going to have to have one of my friends get on and tell me, it's like, are you, does the gem of isolation slow persist during this entire period? Just check above your health bar, like right here, and then they'll tell me. Um, it didn't look like it, but like I said, I want to test that thoroughly, because it could be really OP, or just not a pickup that you actually do. Uh, though, it's not terrible to be able to constantly just harass someone like that and slow them every single time. So, I don't know. It could be good. could be bad. Who knows? It makes the three way easier to hit, so actually, that might be a, one of the instances where it could be better because if you hit them with the two, get the slow on them, and then hit them with the three, it's a lot easier because they won't be able to move out of it. So actually, the th maybe Jam of Iso is a good pickup on her. Huh. I don't know. We'll require further testing. Um, we're, like nobody's gonna know how to build her exactly anyway. Like which way is best to build her? Utility or like straight glass cannon? For I don't know, a month maybe more. People didn't understand how to play um who came out and everybody was just like eh. oh Giannis Giannis came out and everybody thought he was god awful terrible even I didn't think he was that good and then he received a buff that was just not ridiculous but it did make him better just not as good like I don't know Giannis required ah I thought I'd hit it like when he came out he was bad though that could be the fact that he got buffed is what made him better I don't know. I think people just didn't know how to play him and didn't know how to use the... Ooh, that was a close one. I almost walked into that. Uses portals for mobility instead of straight damage. Because... 
Well, hmm. I don't know. Giannis was not super OP when he was first buffed, and they made it to where he was CC immune and everything. But I don't know. I don't know I'm just rambling about whether or not she's going to get buffed. Who knows? I know every character has been changed from PTS to live, so something's going to happen to Nox between now and when she comes to the regular server. Um, also, I like Spear of the Magus on her because, you know, constant spamming with a three constantly applies it. So, not that bad. I don't know what to build for her sixth slot, though. I mean, I guess Soul Reaver wouldn't be terrible because why not? A little Soul Reaver. You know, just a shit ton of damage for no reason. Um, but yeah, I like her. I'm going to play her. I just don't know if I'll be able to do well with her and win. Um, I'm not like where she fits in the meta. I'm not sure because Changa is really good, but most people don't play her, even though she is a very good frontline style mage that just constantly spams abilities and kind of just changes the tide of team, team fights in the late game because she gets pushed out so early like early game against so many different solo laners because you know they're just better at pushing the wave than she is early on that's how i feel about nox nox has a pretty tough time clearing the wave early on even with an extremely low cd ability Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, okay i know that goes for, through walls so, don't be like, well, duh, Nico, you didn't hit it. You threw it into a wall. I know it goes through walls. I did it before. So, don't be trying to make me feel like a dumb. Because I know I'm not dumb. Also, she's like the ultimate joust character. Because she can hit the titan with everything over the wall. Um, but yeah, I like her. I just don't know how she's going to fit in the meta. Just like Changa is kind of... I mean, I feel like she's amazing, but... Yeah, most pro players aren't like, oh yeah, Chongo, let's be a Chongo. Chongo's a top pick, so I don't know. Um, I like her. She thinks she's cool. Um, you guys tell me what you think about her, if you played her on the PTS yet, or if you're going to wait until she's live, and if she gets buffed or nerfed or whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to be as informative as I could. Um, if you have, like, if you have played her and you were in, like, you know like oh this does this and like you you know something i don't leave it down in the comments and everything because i'm totally open to that and yeah i'll see you guys later peace